I think one thing I find really quite amazing is just how fast the changes may come upon us. If we think about where civilization has come from, it seems like something that's developed over really quite a long time period. I mean, maybe we would start it sometime after the last ice age when we developed agriculture, perhaps close to 10,000 years ago. And since then, we've built up cities and nations and transportation and communication networks that enable us to engage in all our activities today, supporting all seven and a half billion of us. And all of this requires a huge consumption of energy. If I put a number on it, it would be 18 terawatts. I mean, that's just a number, but it's a very large amount of energy that is consumed day after day after day, continually in order to sustain all our activities. Now, what is astonishing is that we are not consuming energy just to maintain these activities, but some of this energy is going into enabling us to extract raw materials from our environment in order to enable us to grow. So we are constructing new aspects of civilization, new communication networks, new roads, planes, even people, which are made of matter, in order to continue growing our, our humanity. And there, it is surprising, because our current growth rate, it may seem small, just 2.3% per year, thereabouts, for our rate of energy consumption growth. But that translates to a doubling in our consumption rate in just 30 years. Now, that's incredible, because if you think that it took us 10,000 years to get to our current consumption rate, and that we will double this again in just 30 years, then we are thinking about a change in civilization that in our very lifetimes will reproduce everything that has happened over centuries, millennia. And that brings to us, I think, a very basic question. How will this happen? Can we sustain a doubling of our daily energy consumption rate and all the raw materials that go along with it. Do those raw materials exist? Perhaps they do. Perhaps we can figure out ways to extract sufficient resources from our environment to maintain a doubling of our civilization in the next 30 years. And then in the next 30 years beyond that, which would be four times as large. Perhaps we can do that. Perhaps the resources are out there. Or perhaps they aren't. And if they aren't, then I think naturally we would think that the, all the activities of civilization will somehow have to slow. And then we can start thinking about, well, what does that mean for civilization to start slowing? What does it mean for the economy if we can no longer sustain all the activities with the energy that's required? Or... If we can sustain the activities, what does it mean to have all the accumulating waste products that are produced by the consumption accumulating in, for example, our atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide? A planet that is five degrees Celsius warmer than it is today will not be the same place. And we have to think seriously about what that implies for the ability of civilization to continue to grow. Somehow, something will have to give.